That's right. I am told that we have QB1 on the phone now. Will Levis. We have found QB1. <laughs> Will, what's up, man? What's How are up, you? guys? Thanks for what's having me. What's going on, brother? Well. How are you feeling, bro? I am good. I uh, just finished up a good day at the facility over here, and uh, looking forward to getting to Sunday to play the Texans. Is it tough on a short week? It is. It is. Um, you know, we're getting back late, uh, you know, 3 a.m. Tuesday morning after a Monday game and getting in there that, that same day to, you know, start practicing for the next week. So it's tough. You know, a lot of guys' bodies are feeling it, but it's the same way all around the league. It's part of the game. And, you know, it's all about preparation and recovery to get ready for that next game. QB1, Will Levis joins us on 3HL. Uh, Will, how was that locker room after that win against Miami, man? It was awesome. It was electric. I mean, guys were feeling it. Um, Raves, you know, I think people saw the video. You know, it's kind of a lot of us took, took us a second to kind of just sit back and realize kind of what we just did, and it was pretty cool to for all of us to have that moment of celebration in the locker room. And but you know, with the short week, it's <laughs> not a lot of time to celebrate. You're, you got to flip your mind over to Houston uh, the second we land back in back in town. Um, but that those couple hours of celebrating in the locker room and then on the plane ride home uh, was was pretty special. One more about that Miami game. Uh, obviously, you're, you're going through the game. You have no idea about how historic that comeback is going to be. But down 14 with, with three minutes to go, what, what, what's going through your mind there? You, you get the touchdown, then the defense has to get you the ball back. When you get the ball back, what are you thinking? Kind of what was going through your mind in those situations? It's just taking it one play at a time. I mean, starting that, you know, when you turn the ball over with the, with the fumble and then they score. And we're going up to four minutes left to try to score a touchdown, and you can't get 14 back with one play. You know, you got to take it one play at a time. You got to take what they give you, chip down the field, and you know, trust that however much time's left on the clock will, will be enough because the defense will get us that ball back, which they did. And then when we did, was able to um, you know drive down and get another one. So I mean, just complimentary football all around. Defense played their butts off all game, um, put us in position to be able to win even with the mistakes that we had. Um, but you know, just taking it to one play at a time, trusting our preparation, trusting what we see, um, and executing. Will Levis joins us on 3HL. Will, uh, whatever pressure you felt in that game on Monday night has uh, nothing on what you're about to feel now. I'm going to turn it over to my guy, Ron Slay. Will Levis, man, welcome um, to 3HL. Let me, let me go on and um, preface you with this right here. We're about to go into the Boom Boom Room. If you agree to the Boom Boom Room, um, the door will be locked behind you when you walk in. You must answer every question truthfully in order to get the door unlocked. I hold the key to that door. Do you agree to these terms, sir? I agree. I agree. Lock the door, Zelf. Let's go. Time to lock them gates. All right, baby. Will Levis is in the boom, boom room. The doors have been locked behind them. Now we got to get straight to it, man. Will, I, I got to ask you, man. This is always, uh, I try to keep it away from football to le let people know kind of who you are and pull the, the curtain back a little bit. We done heard about all the you know, the, the viral stuff. Man, that, that's in the past, man. But tell me, man, what, what, what has grounded you in success, be able to handle success or failure? Give me something in your lifetime that you went through um, away from football that you think prepared you for moments like this, whether it be success or failure? I think it starts with my relationship with my late grandfather. Um, you know, he was a big person in my life growing up, just moved, just living right next door to him. He, he built the house I grew up in and was just an old school alpha male type A type person and didn't take no, no BS from nobody, you know? And, um, and he wasn't like someone who wasn't supposed to show any love either, though. Like he taught me how to be a loving individual, but how to be a you know a stand-up individual and a good man and a and a heck of a competitor at the same time. So he he definitely helped me, and I got I got him to thank for that. Now you got to give me your your first aha moment when you when you entered the league. Now that you're in it and you got some games in, you went through a preseason and everything and so forth and so on. What was your first aha moment like? Oh man, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, that first game was, was, was really cool, and I know it's not often where you have a, a plan just come to life like it did that game and where everything just felt like it was, it was really working. Um, I got to ask the question, like, what hit do you, did you take where you were like, dang, like, it's a little different here. And it wasn't really a big hit, but one of the plays were just like, no, that's, that's professional football play that I had. Was, there was the third and, uh, third and goal down in Tampa where uh, Vita Vea just grabbed me by the shoulder and threw me down with one hand. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not a light individual. I'm, I'm pretty big. And for him to do that, I was just like, dang. Like, 
For one, it taught me that I need to step up in the pocket a little bit, but just that guys are a little bit different at this level. Uh, no, no doubt about it, man. Okay, now you got to give me one thing. If we're getting the opportunity to get away from the facility, get away from football, you got 24 hours with me. You got to show me an insight of what Will is. Will, take me to your house. What you going to feed me? And where can you take me out to? Or are we sitting on the front porch or the back porch smoking cigars with some of, with some of that good Kentucky bourbon that y'all got up there? Ooh, ooh. I actually did get into bourbon a little bit when I got to Kentucky, but um, I drink tequila. That's what, that's what I like to drink. But, I like that. Uh, not, not that we would, we would be doing any drinking per se, but uh, we're definitely starting off with a, with a nice breakfast and then probably playing a round of golf, getting to know each other on the course. Um, probably a workout in before then, actually, and then reward yourself with a nice little round of golf and uh, then a nice dinner at a, at a steakhouse with a, with a fat ribeye and all the sides you could think of. So. Good people, good times, um, good camaraderie, good activities. Sounds like a good day to me. I love that, man. So this is the last one because we, I know we're short on time, man. I got to let you get on out of here. But you got to give me what is the um, what is the moment? No, matter of fact, what's the most um, popular or biggest celebrity now that you've got this newfound fame in your phone that you could call? And don't give me a football player. I don't want to hear no. Yeah, who's your Taylor Swift? Too, is that what you're asking? Yeah, that's too easy for you. Not, <laughs> not Taylor Swift. It could be. It could be. It could be a basketball. It could be LeBron or somebody, or it'd be Denzel oh, or Tom Cruise. Or something I'm not like gonna. That. I'm not gonna reveal anything that way. But um, I'd say <laughs> hey, after hey, the first hey, game. Hey, hey, first wheel. I'd wait a minute, like, wheel. Will, this ain't no this ain't no DN breathing down your neck, dog. This is the boom boom room. Ain't no ain't no getting out of here. You'll be in the you'll be in the basement with the lost souls down there if you don't answer this yeah. question correctly. I think um uh Ke- Kevin Durant messaged me and, and had congratulated me and he was he was a, one of my favorite oh, players awesome. growing up. Him and him yeah. and Braun. So I mean seeing Easy Money Sniper pop up in my DMs, um, you know, giving me some love, uh was was pretty sweet. That's pretty dope right there. That's Oak Hill alone, man, so shout out to him. Hey, man, listen, man, I ain't going to get into this Kentucky-Tennessee thing. You're a wildcat. I'm a vol. I'm going to let all that settle right there, let the dust settle because you're a titan, two, two, two-tone blue. Hey, man, Will Levis, you made it through the boom-boom room. Unlock the door, Zelf. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Thank you so much. Hey, Will, real quick on the way out, I'm curious in these seven games, what have you learned about yourself? Uh, I'd say I've learned, um, you know, what I can do. I think I've given myself confidence that I can go out here and I can do this and I can play, you know, this game at this level at a high level. Not that I've reached my potential or I'm even close to it, but just the few things that I, I mean, a few games and watching the film and seeing the improvement that I've made, um, just giving me confidence going forward that, um, you know, I could I can be a great player at this level. And I just got to keep working to, to reach that level. What are you seeing this Texans defense? They play a lot of zone, man, 79% zone. <laughs> no, they play, they play some man. I mean, we don't know exactly what we're going to get quite yet, but, um, you know, different variations of, of Millfield open zones, and uh, they will play some man. Uh, we'll see what their plan is for us, but um, – I think we have we have opportunities to attack them in multiple ways, depending on what they what they do to us. So I think we, we've done a good job with the game plan so far. We've had a couple uh, really clean practices the last couple of days, um, cool. getting in some good speed work tomorrow and some red zone work uh, before we wrap it all up and uh, um, put the hay in the barn. You uh, you like wearing that? Uh, you like putting on that old school Oilers uni? Oh yeah, look good, feel good, play good, baby. I think we're all we're all excited to wear those uh, this weekend and. I know some Houston fans got some opinions about it, you know, but uh, it's uh, it's a cool jersey, you know. That's, that's all I really think about it. Hey, last thing: is, is this Billy Jean's thing like a real thing? I mean, I didn't come up with it. People can call me whatever they want. I'm not going to trademark anything or uh, whatever. Um, but you are aware of it, though, pretty... right? Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. I got you, man. Hey, uh, hey, thanks for taking the time, man. I know you're busy, obviously, with meetings and everything. Good luck on Sunday, man. It's been fun watching you play, bro. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate right. it, Will. There he is, Will Levis. Bye.